Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 51 of my Asian Canadian Let's Play series. Now today what we're doing is we are continuing, no we're not continuing, oh we're starting fresh. So we are basically now heading towards the Draconic Age. Now we're basically going to get everything we need to get the last bits for Draconic. Uh, so we can get into the new age and get the chronic stuff, which is like awesome. Um, we've been putting it off a little bit the past year or so because I, I wanted to set up all the automation first before we even look at the draconic age. Um, so now we've got all the mechanism automation stuff ready for our draconic, draconic cores and everything. Um, we can now crack on with it, which is good and exciting because I love draconic. Draconic is so cool. It's beautiful, modern. It's amazing. And so yeah, it's cool. Um, so yeah, I will hand it over to myself now, and we can continue off and get going with the draconic, uh, the draconic stuff. All right, sorry about that, everyone. Not quite sure what happened there. FPS lagging. Um, so as we we're saying, this is not been running. I figured out that I can use the uh, logistic pipes, and they work quite well for pulling out of pulling out of these singularities and putting them into our interface. So if you have a quick look at uh, how many singularities we've got, we've got a few now. I think They're like yes, yeah, so we've got 155 singularities, which is awesome. So I'm going to let this just run, and it's going to run indefinitely, so it's going to create loads and loads and loads of singularities, because we're going to need an absolute butt ton of these anyway, so it's good to have as many as we can, and it's all free. Um, I'm thinking this might be causing a bit of FPS lag, a tiny bit. I'm thinking of moving this back over to where the old base is, where our old network is connected currently, just so that we don't have to render it. Um, I'm going to see how much of a difference it makes if I leave it here for now. If, if I keep getting issues, I might, might move that. So that's something to bear in mind when you're building yours as well. Um, so... As you can see, I have moved the generator, which is there, so that was the way that our uh, lava generator was there. And I've made room up here for the solar panels. If you look in here, we can see straight up, and the solar panels can work through clear glass, as far as I'm aware. So, the recipe we made, I believe we made most of the recipe a couple of episodes ago, um, and I made the final part of the recipe, so I just made these bits uh, to do with we made it, everything else here. So, we just, I just made, went through and made all these uh, uh, solar flux things. Uh, we've made the iron before and stuff like that. It's really simple, so all it is is like some blue stained glass and then some lead nuggets and stone slabs and uh, same sort of recipe there. And then some cadmium and some enriched alloy and some uh, photoic cells because there's one of the solar panels. We need three solar panels and an empowered void crystal block. Um, I made the recipe for that. That's again quite simple to do. All that is is a piece of cold coke and a necrotic bone, an ink sack, and a black quartz. And we've got loads of these necrotic bones now from our wither farm, wither skeleton farm over the nether. And then a block of void crystal, and that's just a um, block of coal in front of the uh, scanning zippy duty what's it thing, the atomic reconstructor. Um, so that's all quite simple to make. Uh, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to press for these in camera. So hopefully we should have these all ready for us by the time we're finished. It doesn't like powder cadmium though. I thought we got rid of that powder cadmium thing. Hmm, that is interesting. Let's have a quick gander run at this powder cadmium and see what's going on about with the powder cadmium. Um, so, so, what uses cadmium? That is the question. So we'll quick gander with this, and if not, we'll I might just quickly leave it. But I, I, I don't know what uses cadmium. I know we we changed it to the ingots last episode, didn't we? So that could be something to do with that. But I thought. Nothing else really should be to do with powder cadmium. That was all this stuff, right? So you got alloy, carbon, iridium, reinforced alloy, blah blah blah. blah. All right, give me a sec to do this, and I'll be right back once I figure this out. And then um, we should be all right. But I'm, again, I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, I'll see you in a second. All right, so I can see what it is that needs it. It's this energy tablet. So we just need that powder cadmium. Um, so there's no way around it. Are we looking at other things anywhere you can use? Oh, wrong button. I don't think there's anything else we can make. We can't make it with the um, actual ingots, so that's fine. So we'll have to make a little alteration to what we've got downstairs, and then we should be fine. Um, so if, if I actually get a recipe now and put cadmium and then go to you and say that one of you equals. Um, um, okay, we need to put some different That's fine. We'll take half a stack, put half a stack through. So we're on down here. So what I've quickly gone and done is made a hole in there to put a crate so we put this crate here and then using this cable up here we're going to set this to extract on green guess what you're on right extract on green yep he drops in so that's fine so that should do that so what's going to do because you can't push recipes into these conduits it has to push them into a storage so it's storage wise so we're going to push it into this crate here and that's going to get pulled out that is the logic behind it. So in theory, if we put this in there, that should get pulled out, and then that should split it. So actually, we put that onto 
round robin as well. So it's just going to split out between the two. So that should put it all already. That's fine. So we should some cadmium in here. Where are you going? Don't tell me you're going in here, right? No, no, no. Okay, good. So powder cadmium should be an assistant in theory. So let's go upstairs. Go to you and go cad. There we go. So one of you equals two of you. Pattern. Shimmy on down here, put it in. Da, 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 put it in there and go you. And now in theory, if we go ask for the solar panels, so we want solar panels, these times four. Shove everything for it, which you do, beautiful, start you up, you get going, awesome, nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and craft everything up and you're stuck at some grass for sure anyway. You're doing your thing. I'm just gonna cancel as well. Um and you're doing your thing. Cool. Awesome. I keep having, I keep having issues where it suddenly just drops out, so I'm not sure if there's an issue with the AE or truck building or something. Um, so you're crafting up again and you're doing your thing. That's fine. Cool. Awesome. So let's shimmy back up here again and the next thing we need to do in here. Right. So that's, that's some crafting that. We're, we're just going to leave that to craft up there. So what I want to do now is to, uh, to actually get the panel parts of Draconic so we can get ahead and get our um, what's rock. Um, so we can go ahead and get our basically our mold grinder. That's what we're aiming for at the minute. And for that, we need a wyvern energy core. And the wyvern energy core is made with the demon metal and the draconic core. So I want to go ahead and finish up making this draconic stuff for today. So we should have everything else ready, barring the demonic metal and the draconic core. That's two things we're going to do today. And um, so the draconic core we have most of it already. So the refined obsidian, we need to quickly make that up. Um, the draconic ingot, we've already auto crafted that last episode. The end down, we've already auto crafted a couple of episodes ago. So we, all we have to do is ultimate the explosion for this quantum in tangled singularities and also the refined obsidian ingots so let's go ahead and do that let's do the refined obsidian first that's really really easy because you just put osmium compressor with refined obsidian dust and do we have an osmium compressor no we don't so let's make an osmium compressor and um, so we want and then we can use that method so osmium compressor which is just four of these enriched iron ingots with uh, some advanced circuits around my steel and some buckets. We should have everything. We don't have anything. Wow, that is a surprise. So, bucket. Oh, oh, bucket. So, we need two of you, please. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Awesome. And then we need some circuits. So, we need two of you. And then, alloy. We need four of you. Like so. You should be fairly quick to do you, so we should do that. And then you get three and four. And what are we waiting for? So you're doing the uh, you're doing a tantalum plates. Okay. I don't understand why you're so slow though. Oh yes, because yeah, the power's been sapped from that thing, isn't it? Okay, cool. So now we should have you, right? Yes. Awesome. Let's get rid of you, and then we need some, what's it called, universal cabling. Universal cabling, so here we need two more of you. I'm going to put you in the corner. Babe in the corner right there. I'm going to power up to you. Awesome, and we're going to get a couple of speed upgrades as well, actually. Speed and energy, so some speed. Do we have any speed upgrades? Uh, nope, so craft me eight of you. And then energy ones as well. Why not? Energy, so 10 uh, ten hours 2, get some 8 of you. Awesome, you do your thing, beautiful. So you're doing your thing and you're low on power. Are you not outputting power on that side? No. So I, I, as you can see as well, I also created a second uh, ultimate energy to go. I kind of want to see if, if that inside the structure like, spread. I want to make two more, I think, but just to double check see if it does. I think it would be pretty damn cool if you could see more of that thing inside there. Um, but anyway, I'm just giving it double the amount of storage. So we've got this full of um, this full of energy and this full of energy. Now we're not going to produce anything at the minute because we're missing our solar panels. Which actually, how are we doing with the solar? Got two of them, so we can set two of these up now. Why not? And get some universal cables. Uh, some elite universal cables. Give me, give me. And then let's see if we've got any more than solar, right? No, so what are you stuck on at the minute? You're doing the current of iron. Wow, it's slow. 
That's so slow. We need to get some sort of like filtering on that. All right, so I'm gonna put these two there and there. In theory, you can't see the sun. Damn. Do you class as a full block? Um. Give me you. Get some flawless glass. Let's see if these glasses are full as a full block. So if I break, break, come on, stay on the cables, please. Please? No, it does not. Damn it. Do you say you can see the sun now? You still say false. Interesting. Come on, come on. You still can't see the sun, apparently. Interesting. Hmm. Then, if you connect to a cable, do you, do you then see the sun? You definitely can't see the sun. That is weird. Let me just go to space and see if we can actually see the sun from like, on the roof or something. And maybe it's, just, it's on the space station. So uh, we need a suit. Uh, you, you. You and you. Not you, not you. And get rid of all of you and get rid of you. Thank you. Put you on, put you on, put you on, put you on. And now let's try on the roof or something, see if we can see it on the roof. Now in theory we should be able to definitely see it up here, right? Still false. It does say it's night time. But it's daytime. Alright, maybe we'll have to try this out a little bit once we have some more power. Once we have, it's actually night, uh, daytime. Because the minute apparently it's 6 o'clock at night apparently. Come on to the the, uh, the top right in the, on the on the map. Let's just give it the benefit of the doubt. Let's set this up and see what happens in a bit. So I'm gonna you and put you there. Let's give it a bit of time, see if that works. If it does work, then awesome. If it doesn't, then pain in the ass. But we'll see. Let's put that armor on. Right. Anyway, so Osmium compressor. So what we need to do with this is another need another phantom face. Phantom face. I want you. Need you. We need the uh, what? Well, we need the uh, interface. Awesome. So she went downstairs, and let's shift right click on you with this one first, like so. Let's get rid of some of the because you're not so clogged up. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Put you there. And put you there. Awesome. So down here, I think what we're gonna do is gonna put it. Like, let's split it out a little bit. So we'll put it. Hmm. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna put it here. So I'm gonna put interface there. Then you on on top of you like that. And then shift I click on you. She'll now load it in that block up there. Awesome. So then we should need some conduits. Uh, so we need some cables. Conduits of cable. Uh, give me two of you. Oh, six will do. Put you there so you don't connect anyway. So you should connect up, and we should have a total of five in here in a second. Go on, five, 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 five. one, five. There we go. Awesome, cool. It just takes a very long time, apparently. Um, and then we need some more normal conduits as well. So we need some conduits. Uh, it gets me you, and then we need some osmium. Let's get a stack of you. So what I basically want to say is in here, I want to keep a stack of these at all times, like so. Uh, and let's hide this, and that's fine. And then what we want to do is that's going to push in, and we also want to pull out. So we can pull out from here to here. So we want to extract, insert. Now, I'm not sure which side is going to cast at the front. Is that the front, or is that the front? Because the machine's front is this one. Hmm. Let's, let's have a thinker. So, what we need to say first of all is with you, we need to say that the bottom, which is you, is the insert. Uh, so, in theory, now you're getting all this. Nope, go purple. Okay, that's fine. So, the bottom needs to be purple. Ah, no, you bloody idiot. No. 
Where, where, where's the platform? There it is. So what I wanted to do is pour out of you into you. So to do extract. Let's find a green. Insert. So we're going to figure out now which side. So this is either the front or the left side. Let's see what happens. So you are you on the left side, purple? Yes, you the left. Okay, awesome. So this is the okay. Okay. Then you've got an output on the front. Uh, output and then input is on the bottom. So we can clear you out. Uh, you can be green on the top for energy. You can clear that as well. So we're going to output from the front first. We're going to input from the bottom from where the interface is. We're going to put in the purple osmium stuff on the left, and we're going to have that green top. So that's basically how we're going to do it. So that is pretty cool and awesome. And we should have our speed goes everything to put in here now. So let's quickly get these. Come on, speed. So I want you put you in there like that did not work. Like so and then energy because efficiency is key. And um, so we have to wait for you to do your thing and then you're into the energy there. Okay, awesome. So now we can set up that recipe. Um, so that recipe was to create something and I can't remember what it was. So let's figure out what it was. Come on. Um, da -da 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 -da. We need the use the right bloody thing. I keep doing that man. All series have done that. That's terrible. Um so you which is the awesome question. Yeah that was it. So we need you in there so we need some refined obsidian dust to make uh, that. Okay so we can make some refined obsidian. So refined give me one of you please. It should be quite quick. Thank you. And then what we can put you into we need to go back up there anyway. Uh, so what we want to do first is go over here go to you and put you in there like so and then she went back over here again go to you put you in there nice and fast like it but then she'll be there now and then go to obsidian yay creates you awesome now another thing that will make this machine is called the glowstone Glowstone ingot. Now I can't remember what the. I, mean, I guess it's going to be glowstone, but I think it's just glowstone ingot. I'm press it. It is. So again, what we want to do here is take a glowstone, put you there, and we'll take that to you. Why not? Ow. Um. And then we'll put two of you in there, which is going to do you. And then we're going to go for glowstone here again. And we're going to say one of you because one of you. Awesome, so we're going to make two recipes now in the Elfring Compressor, which is going to be lovely. So now we can go to Interface Elfring Compressor and fall through the floor. Go to you and put you in there like so. Awesome. So that's going to work beautifully. And it's pulling out everything as we saw we're getting in the system, which is lovely. Um, so yeah, that's been pretty cool. So what have we got next to do? We have got now it's just the single arrays, right? So Atroconic. I believe it's just the singularities we need. Yep, so we've got you working, okay, we've got refined obsidian, we've got end diamonds. Yep, so it's just literally the quantum and the tangled singularities. Okay, so let's crack on with that. So this obviously is dropping one singularity and end dust um, in front of an explosion. So end dust is made. Do we have end dust autocrafted already? I think I think we do. And dust. No, we don't. Okay, so end dust is made in a sag I think. Yeah, I think it's alright in a second. I think it has to be a second one. I think it has to be a second one. So if we get some end pearls, we get you, and then I'll just make any of you one up. So in a sag mill, you throw an end pearl in, and you get end dust. Like that. You get nine. Holy crap. That's a lot more than I thought it was going to be. It's a lot more than I thought it was going to be. So end dust. So that's end pearl powder. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we have to test this a little bit. I don't think any, I'm sure it's one that doesn't I think it's you, it's just an end pearl, right? So craft you up. I'm pretty sure it has to be this one. I'm like almost saying it has to be this one. But we're gonna try both, just in case. And then we need a single as well. That's fine. Right, so another thing I want to make while I'm here is make a tiny TNT. So TNT I wanna make one of these recipes, and that is made with some certus quartz stuff and some gunpowder. Should have loads now in our thingy. So we'll craft you up and craft you awesome like so. And then we need some applied. Um 
there. All right, uh, interface. No, it's just a scroll. AE stuff, because you're part of the AE mods, you want to go with the AE stuff, so you can go there with AE stuff. Awesome! Right, so we need some obsidian. Obsidian. Now, what we basically want to do with this ooh, beautiful obsidian, is basically mirror in a way. Oh, there's only six. Mirror in a way what we can already have for um, this over here, but with explosions. And so I'm going to break you because you ran away. So I kind of want to put this in the floor because it's going to explode ding things. Um, so kind of want to put this like. Um, let's put it this way. So you're the back. And you're where the explosion actually happens. So let's break you. And then we need a space in front of you. Let's put you and you like that and you there. And I think that is it. But I think I want to put you there just in case. And then another one as well. Just put another one there. I think that's everything. I think. I kind of want to put one on top just in case. So I'm going to do that. Um, so you. So I need one of you like so. So I kind of want to put a cable just there for now. And put you there. Like that, and then you there. Like that. Awesome. So that is basically actually I'll back. Yeah, so it's a bit bit of a big setup, but it needs to be. And again, it's in this room because this is where most of our miscellaneous crafting is happening. Um so this is all that this whole singularity process is gonna happen here basically. So what I really want to do is I need to get a block called the Phantom Placer, I think it's called uh, Placer. Yeah, so this phantom placer here. Uh, so that is a auto placer and a phantom face. Just make sure that everything's got an auto placer. And a auto placer is very simple. You have everything for it. Beautiful indeed. So put you in there now, phantom placer. Awesome, like that. Now I think, I think we have to place a block down like that. And then we have to click on that block and then break that block. And then get the phantom placer. So I'm gonna put this downstairs again. Um, so I'm gonna put this over here, like so. Shift right click on you. Awesome. Um, the connection is obstructed. It is not in range or blocked. Okay. So. It maybe not in range. You're the you're the one, two, three, four, five. Maybe it's maybe 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 it's not in range. Let's put you on there. Let's break you. And let's put you let's break you and let's get you as well. I know it's on the right block, I will place it with all the block shortly. Let's place you there and then link you now. I'm gonna go upstairs. Ah okay. So actually, I should, I should try placing it on top of that. Like. Down and then right click on you. Connected is disrupted or is not in range. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's try one more time. If not, then I'll have to fiddle with it off camera. So let's just use you again because I don't mind if I break you. Put you there. Shift right click on you. Break you. What do you actually. No, that's fine. Down. Now shift it from you. It still says it's obstructed. I don't get. I don't get. Maybe it's that one on top. Maybe. Maybe it doesn't like you. Is that possible? Nope. Hmm. Let me have a quick gander with this guys, and I'll figure it out. I have the right back once I figure this out. Right. So I think I may have sussed it. When you're looking in the manual, so looking here, look at the manual here, it says the default range is far, they're three, not five. So when I was, I don't know, when I was getting five, oh, I want them back, give me them back. Give me, give me, give me. Thank you. When I was getting five from, I can't remember. 
But I th yeah, this has to be three blocks, but that's fine. I can, I can place it directly underneath the block that I want it to be. Um, I kind of want I have a fiddly with it, so I kind of want to put it right on the back on the back on the right block again. So I want you to be there. Break you down here, and then link you back up uh, like that. So you, yeah, your connection is working fine. So now, in theory, if I put you on down mode and put you there. Nope. Okay. That's why, because the cable's there, isn't it, of course? So let's break you. And you. Let's try um, this again. So I want to cover you up so you no chance you're exploding or anything. Like so. And then let's try putting a cable or something there. So if we go back down here to you, and let's put the cable there. So that put the cable down. In there, awesome, perfect. That's exactly what I want to do. So we can break you now. So what I want to do now is basically see this off um, in a way. So I want to put you there. Again, it's just that's just a uh, like a temporary thing there. And I want a dropper as well. <clears throat> so a dropper. We've got automatic dropper. Awesome. And then we need an interface. Awesome. We need a level emitter. Which is just one of these already. Do, and then we also want a resident torch to change the mode of this bad boy. So give me one of you, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's just get rid of these all out of the way, like so. We also need a a a vacuum. What are they called? I've not applied man. Not applied. Um, actually, additions. One of these range collectors. You, yes. And you as well. Awesome. Right. So, what I want to do is put the dropper here, but I kind of want to make sure that it gets facing down like that. Cool. So I've got to shimmy it out here now, like that. And we could put it directly there, but I kind of don't want to put it right there. Just, you know, bad things can happen. Um. So and then I want to um. I can break you now and place you with. Something else, so I'm thinking of do we have ME cables around here? ME cables there, that's fine. We can put an interface here, and this interface is going to be what is going to hold our pattern for the um, actual thing. So I might run the cable in for you now, ready. So let's break you again, that can make it look pretty afterwards. So we need some more green cables. Uh, cable craft me 20 more of you, we should be very quick. Yes, you are. Lovely Japanese. And you and you and you. So you've got to come like this along here into the hole. Oh, too far. Break, 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 break. Thank you. And um, we can actually get you. Give me a minute. Shimmer back up here. And then, again, this is not going to look the prettiest right now, but I will facade it up later on. So you're going to do you awesome. And then what I also want to do is get you and put you up there. But I only want you to receive these like that. And I only want you to be so you're whitelisted. Um so ignore the, ignore everything. All I want to do is just have a whitelisted for that. So in theory, if I throw this on the floor, you get picked up. Perfect. But if I throw you on the floor, you don't get picked up. Perfect. Right. So what I want to do with you is you at the minute I want to deactivate. So you're just going to drop straight away. Aren't you? Yes, you are. What I want to do is change you to um, not that. Right, right, right. There you go. Pulse. So now if we put some in there now, nothing happens. Awesome. Okay, it's just deactivate and pulse, right? Yeah, deactivate and pulse. Yeah. So now we want to get a level emitter and put a level emitter there. Okay, level emitter. And put you there. Like that, and then I want to say with you that you want to emit a signal when these are less than 60. So we'll keep 60 of these in stock at all times. Um, yeah. Um, you should emit a signal when levels are below the limit. So you're emitting a signal now. So in theory, now if I put you in there, you should you should drop. You should drop now. You should drop now. Okay, one way around. So, 
you need to emit a signal when levels are below. Yeah, that's right. No. Because when it turns off, this is... Yeah, it's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Um, is it, though? No, it's not. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. What I kind of want to have is, is I might have to do the phantom place and put a phantom place in as well. Hmm. So okay, what we need to do is break you. Tinkering in my head at the same time as thinking. It's never good. So we need you to be there, I think. Yes, and then to have a. Yes, that's what we're going to do. So we want a crate. This should work. Crate. Like so. There's one of you. That'll do. And put you there. So you're going to feed into you. And then I want some conduits. Let's go from there to there. And I want counting. Counting. One of you. Awesome. And what I want to say is, on the insert here, you're allowed to have one of you and one of you so you can only have one of these at any one time so no matter how many are in here only one of each can go into there I think I think I think I think I think I think the interface doesn't be there doesn't it yeah yeah <laughs> let's break you again and break you the interface back there I think you can I think you'll be fine there and what I want to say is I want you to keep in stock one of you do you have any singularities in the system that is the question you do but you're not you're not doing it oh that's annoying oh you bloody idiot of course I need to put uh, get up so theory when this connects in any second now we're gonna get one channel we get one channel. Come on. One channel. So this is ready. We can check it and then we should be able to see if it's it. Also, two, two channels, that's right. You're still not inserting that. No. Definitely not. Not going to play. Okay, so that ruined that idea. So I think what we're going to... Oh, you bloody idiot, that's why anyway. I don't want that. Oh, that's the output. I need these ones. Ah, blah, blah. Yeah, so I need you. That makes more sense. Let's put you there. There we go. Go and keep you in stock. There we go. So this filter at the top here needs to be one of you. One of you. And you need to be... Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. I want to keep one of you and one of you in stock. Be there. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome sauce. Hide you. So, theory, if I turn this to extract, what should happen is you should turn on, you should get dropped, and you're getting picked up. Why, 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 why? Why? Uh, maybe respect murder? Yeah, that's working. That is working. Let's just turn you back on again. Awesome. Okay, so you're you're working, although you're a bit of pain. You're a pain, but you're working. So you're dropping everything, but you should be dropping dust as well. And I kind of don't like how much you're not dropping that. So why aren't you making any more dust? Dust. Are you making more? No, oh, you need crafting cap one. Hmm, I'm still not totally confident in this yet. I'm thinking maybe this is not the right way to go. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Maybe not the best way to go. Maybe. Maybe it's alright. Just because this is very. It can drop a lot more singularities than it can do in the pelt dust, and I kind of don't want to do that. I kind of want you to just push these when requested. 
can you can't craft them, can you? Can you craft? I, of course you can't craft. Hmm. Hmm. Give me a second to think this out and I'll be right back. Right, so I've decided to simplify it a little bit for now. Um, we'll have to do some stuff. Uh, well, it's all going to be automated still, but it's not going to be able to keep stuff in stock for now um, because I don't think it's going to be able to work as I wanted to. Um, at least I don't think right now it is. Um, so what we need to do actually is to craft some of the integrate dynamic stuff we used over here. So we need an entity reader again. We need a redstone writer. And we need a regrettable storage and stuff. So quickly go craft up all that. We should have everything ready for that. I think. Uh, so at integrated. We should have at least uh, most things. We've got the portable logic program, which is awesome. And uh, we've got a variable card, which has some more variable cards as well, hopefully. We've got some cables. We need some more of these cables. We need some input variable at you and you. So we need input transform and transform. That's fine. There's the other variable cards that we need. So let's go you away. I could do one you for now. Go good one. There we go. And go and go for now. Um, so then we also need, so we need another variable storage, which is you. Come on, I need a chest, of course we need a little chest. Should learn by now, I always need a chest, always. We need variable storage and we also need a power um, energy battery to you as well. What are the, what are the more advanced ones, they all the same? Yeah, okay. I've grabbed you for that as well, awesome. I'm going to charge my battery. Thanks for nicking my power. So, in theory, what we have to do now is oh, we need an entity reader as well. So, hopefully, we've got some beef. Entity reader. Hopefully, we've got you right. We do. Awesome. And a redstone writer. Redstone writer. Where are you? It's in here, of course. Uh, redstone writer. Uh, integrate dynamic so we're still there. Awesome. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So I'm not sure how well this is gonna work. So we're gonna test it and see how well it does work. I think I might need to I might need to break these couple of blocks here. And let's assume it. Because I need to write to this block there. I need to write to that block. Is that one? Is that one? I need to write to this block here. I think we need to write into that block there. So in theory, I think we have to do is get these. Just get some like cobble or something. Get some stone maybe. Uh, so we've got some factory. We've some factory blocks around, right? Yeah, that's which blocks usually. Awesome. Let's just get you, and for now, I think, if I understand correctly, we have to, we can't write straight into there, but with the rest of the writer, we have to kind of like write next to it. So what I'm going to do is very ugly, like, but this, uh, this needs must. So you can do a little step up here. Uh, so place you like that. So again, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's fine. Um, it's gonna work. So what I'm thinking is kind of need to get around here. I need some redstone. Let's get some redstone from you. I want this redstone to write into there like that. And like that. And like that. So you're gonna catch you're gonna go into that block there, which is what I want. Nice, and then if we go down here, we're gonna massively mess up and go to way too far. We're gonna run this redstone down to like there. So that redstone's gonna step up there and it's gonna go into that block in theory. So let's set up all everything we need here. So we need a variable store. So we have a variable store there. We need a battery, which I'm gonna put. We're gonna run the cable from over there, so I'm gonna put that there. So you're gonna power everything there. Awesome. So then we need a redstone writer, which we're gonna put. Not like that, ideally. Might need to break you. Put a block there. Put you there. Break you. 
to be there. Right? Right. Um, yeah, that'll do. So that's your right signal up there. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Let's run some more cables. Let's give me some more of these cables. Redstone cables. Oh, uh, but not cables. So this is some cables. Oh, it's just recipe. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. And you, so we need to just clean up the video. Awesome. So, what we need to do is be clever with this somehow. I'm kind of hoping that it won't blow up this. Let's figure this out. I think this is going to work. If I understand this, understand this right, it should work. There. Time being put an entity reader there. And I don't think because of the it's a tiny TNT, as far as I know, this won't break this entity reader. As far as I know. As far as I know. So you're gonna come down and then you're gonna basically come down here. So again, I'm gonna have to make this look pretty somehow. I'm not quite sure how yet. Did you did you go there? Was it cable? There you go. I'm not quite sure how we're going to make it look that pretty yet, but we will, I promise. So we're going to go up here, and go there, and there. So we see more like cables, we need at least a uh, stick, and then some integrated dynamic cables. Hopefully we should get this right first try. We won't, because you know, hello kitty cat. Hopefully we will, but you know, that. Right, so that should all be there now. So in theory, all we should need to do is set up our variables. So let's put the uh, right variables up here. So what we want to do is, we want to remember how to do this, is this entity's here. I want to put a variable into there, which is going to create this variable card there. Now these are both variables, so I'll put you there as well. Can you clear out? These are both this entity reader there. Okay, cool. And then what we need to do then is get our programmer and when do is not null, right? So where's the null empty? So when that is not null, so when there is something there, this entity card here, do you. Alright? So when this is not null, do you. So now in theory, if we put that in there, and then put that in there. Yeah. So in theory now, if um, what we're going to do is test this, get like a rest of the lamp or something, can we? Get a lamp. Put you like that. And for now, I'll put you in there like that. So what we can say, if we throw some at here, there we go, it lights up. Perfect, first try. So now it goes away again, that's awesome. So now what we can do is, um, again, I will make this look pretty, I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise. So we can break you, and you're typically gonna be stuck at the back there, aren't you? I've got you. And then we're gonna make this recipe here to put us in there, so let's go over here. And let's get, um, uh, first of all, let's get some tiny TNT going. So TNT, and let's craft me. What did you? That's fine. Um, and then we need you to do, 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 go to the right thing. What's was the right one, right? So what we're gonna say is one of you and one of you will get us two of you. So that's the pattern. So now, in theory, if we go over here. And we put this pattern into there, and then there's one more thing we need to do. We should go back downstairs with an export bus. We should have one. I'm sure, we should have an export bus, right? We do have one. Awesome. We need a crafting card as well, which we should have as well. Awesome. Let's put all these away for now. We don't need to do any more. Go, 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 go. So let's shimmy downstairs. Um. So. What I want to do here is get an export bus. Now, will you place cobble? I don't think you will, right? 
let's just get like a couple of cobble. If I put cobble in you, are you gonna are you gonna place it? If I put up, we place it now. I kind of want to make sure you don't place cobble. I want like an empty block to go there. So you're not placing now, okay? Which is good. So you're not placing. Oh, you did place it. It didn't place it. Good, 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 good. So what I want to do now is get titanium T. No, because we're supposed to place it. So get one of you. Or that many you want. Let's press all go into you and put you in there with a crafting card. And then I'll put you into there. Do you place? No. Do you place now? Still no. That's why. Oops. Just like. Did that work? I saw something flying. I don't. Ah, oh, it did blow that cable in there, didn't it? Damn it. Right, so what we might have to do is a bit of did you do? Yes. That blew up this one piece of cable here and a bit of redstone. Okay, so what we're going to have to do then is get some obsidian. Do we have any obsidian in our hand? Nope. Uh, obsidian. So it didn't blow up the reader, it just blew up the that one piece of obsidian. Uh, one piece of thingy. So that's not quite what we wanted. So what we might have to do is get some more cables. Which we've got you. I mean, you cables down like this. Um. Break you. My cat's a bit noisy. And one more cable. Do we have it there? I think it's still. No, we don't. All uh, right, integrated dynamics complete. Integrated dynamics cable. You and you. Right, so let's try it again. So again, it's not pretty at all, but I'll figure it out. I have to be good, pretty. I promise. I promise, promise, promise. I think we put like obsidian in there. No, it didn't make it look pretty. Uh, right, so now in theory, if we test this, if we go, we want um, da -da 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 singularities. So can we craft any of you? Are you gonna let me craft something serious? So if we craft, say I want five of you. Do you want to craft me six overall? Start your drop in. You explode. And you didn't break anything that time. And you and you picked it from there. Nice, and you input the system. Awesome. That is that is beautiful. So that is now fully working. That is awesome. Let's just get one more piece of obsidian and we'll put it on there. Awesome. I like this. This is good. So again, that's kind of hiding it. I'm gonna put a, a couple of facades on here and here and here to hide this up. So, so we still put a bit behind it. But you know, it's really good. So yeah, so that's beautiful. That's that's working. I'm happy with that. You know, it's it's writing down. It still reads into here. So we can again we can request some, we can request some more. So if we go, let's uh, so crafting only. I want to get on singularities. So uh, have to another ten of you. You should do drop in like that. But something's not working. Hmm, maybe it didn't work then. You're writing. Did that break that again? Apparently, that broke it redstone again. Interesting. Let's put it on mode. Do you, do you break you every time? You do. That is and a crafting card. Why is there a crafting card there? Did that ah oh, broke that as well? That's breaking anything else. Oh man, that's not good. Aha! Right, right, let me just remake this thing here and I'll quick do the test and then we'll be back because we're getting a bit long in the episode now. Right guys, I think I now have figured it out in terms of a way which is actually going to work. Now what I have done is slightly altered the way everything is. Let's get my jet pack in so I might have fuel. Um, just so we can fly a little bit. And da -da 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 -da. Like so. So I was fiddling with the size of it and I ended up moving it around. And I ended up having to put this entity reader he uh, here because apparently this 
um, blows up in a three by three around it. So anything in a three, uh, well, within a block radius of this, um, basically gets blown up. Uh, so this here is obviously it's uh, the second block away, so it's not this block. So well, basically everything in this block, this one, this one, this one, all around it, and this uh, again up as well would get blown up. So this one here does now does now yeah. now does not get blown up, which is what we want to see. Um, um, so that's now working here. I'll show it working in a second, and then down here you can see that I've uh, I've moved the playset one backwards as well, uh, and then put the um, Smart cable and the export bus on the bottom there with the crafting card in, so that should be fill, filled up with um, thingies, what it is. And then I've also moved the redstone signal, so it comes up to here. I can get rid of this cable now. Just cable them off. Oh, this is really like, difficult to stand on. Come on, stand at it. So I moved it from uh, it, was, it was going up into this block up here, so it was going initially into there. So I moved it to the bottom of here. So again, this it's is now outside of the three by three area. Um, and a signal comes up here with some conduit, it goes into the conduit, it goes into the block. So now it all does work. It does. I also wired up this thing up here as well to put some really cheap cables. This battery here to keep this charged. So now we can watch it from down here just to make sure, and we'll, and we'll do the same on the top as well. If we look for the singularities, uh, and then craft at one of you, like so. You'll be able to see, we'll do its thing. That's lit up. There was an explosion. And it's, and it's replaced again. So now that's all working down here. You can see nothing blew up down here. So we'll do the same from the top as well. So you can see it working from the top. You can see the TNTs down there again as, per, as we wanted. So if we get singularity again. One of you. Like so, you see the two drop. That then triggers this thing. That creates these two singularities. And then sometimes it will trigger off two of them. Um, yeah, like, so, cause, so it depends on how fast this, this picks it up here. It may trigger off a few more TNTs than needed, but I don't know. It's not really an issue. I'm not, I'm not too fussed about that. It shouldn't be too many. Maybe maybe one more, depending on how fast this is. But this should be fairly quick with it being the conduits on the top. If we do come into any bottlenecks, I can always uh, whack a few more sp speed upgrades in here to make it like super quick. But I think this is pretty cool. It's working for it nicely. Again, you need to make this look pretty and uh, so way that it, it doesn't look a bit dirty and everything. So I'll get some facades and facade this all up a little bit to make it look a bit more pretty. <clears throat> I'm not sure what we can really do for this piping. There's no facades for this piping, but we could actually just put that like that like there. So you can't really see it now. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So it's its own little entity. I think I might just for the sake of like prettiness, let's do that. And there's no obviously no benefits to the neighbor. It now it just sort of seals this whole section up. I'll put some I'll put some obsidian facades on this here to make that look pretty as well. But yeah, that's pretty cool. That's working exactly what we want to do. So that is amazing. So that is, I think, where we're going to call it for today. And the next episode, we can start on, uh, we can get the Draconic Core, because now we have everything for the Draconic Core. And I kind of want to do that as the highlight of the next episode. Um, so we'll go for uh, da, 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 you. So next, we'll, here, we'll be able to get the Draconic Core first in the next episode, because that's now all ready to go. So we set a pattern for that. We can then also go into the Wyvern tier core, so we just need the, then, the, sorry, the Wyvern uh, energy core, which is what we need for the uh, mob grinder. Um, but for that, we also need to do demonic metal, which is uh, fairly. So it's not too difficult to to do. It says here, uh, an ancient creature before the dawn of humans, where basically you drop uh, some gold into some lava, and you get like a ninety percent chance of getting one of these de demon ingots. So we will have to sort of, uh, of that recipe. But that's pretty cool. I know what to do, do for that. It, we're probably gonna. I was hoping to put it in here with this, but I think we're not have enough room. Unless we put it in the middle of the room. So I'm gonna have to think of a place to put the demonic. Uh, generator thing, but we'll figure that out a bit later on. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. That is really appreciate as always. Um, I think we're doing quite a bit today, quite good, and I quite like the setup. Again, it look pretty once it's been. Oh uh, well, try and make it more pretty. Not sure how much more pretty we can make it look, but you know, eh, quite, not too bad. And um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Do really appreciate it. And you know, same as always, if you did the episode, please do hit the like button. It does help out the channel a uh, lot. And if you're not already, please do consider subscribing. And if you like the video, then hit the, hit the dislike button. That's there for a reason. Tell me why you didn't like it. Hit the comments and say, you know, I didn't like this. You know, I want to know. I want to find out more. So, yeah, it's good. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.